Morning. I'm Alana and this is Ballet Basics, part of Breakout's online video classes. Um, so happy Saturday. We'll be starting in about five minutes. Um, so go ahead and get yourself situated and we'll be starting shortly. Hey everyone, we're going to get started with Ballet Basics. Again, I'm Milana and uh, this class is part of Breakout Studios online video classes. Um, so have your bar ready to go. Um, I'm praying that the internet does what it's supposed to do today <laughs> um, because sometimes it chooses not to. So yeah, all right. Um, we're going to begin facing our bar and it's always our time just to check in, right? It's almost a bit meditative to start class. Um, so I want you to just take a moment, check in with the bottoms of the feet, make sure whatever shoes you're wearing, whatever floor you're on, that you're feeling wide, as wide as you can. Feeling that the, the ankles are connected in towards center and that magnet connection comes all the way up through the thighs into the low pelvis. The abdominals are lifted just slightly Shoulders over hips, 
and the head is just balanced right on top of the spine, nice and easy. We don't want to keep, have any tension in the neck. So when you start to think about a lot of things at once, and of course ballet is very particular, just keep checking in with the neck and make sure that it's relaxed, which I know sometimes is easier said than done. Also good life lessons, keep the neck relaxed. So our arms are in our amba, nice and round, and we'll open out and in and place the hands lightly on the bar in front of you. So we're just going to tread through the feet today. We're lifting the right heel up and then lowering it down. So we bend at the toes, then the left and down. And now let's switch the feet right and left. So we have four quicker, three and four to lower. That lowers relatively fast. Elevate both heels, lift together, and down, a two, and down. We have three, and down, and then a demi-plie, just bending at the hips, knees, and ankles, and stretch. Start that with the left foot, just the half, lower the heel, so we start very simply, half toe, and down, little quicker tread, and six, and seven, and eight to lower, elevate. Ankle magnets are glued together here. Third one, now we have a little plie, and as we stretch, we open to our first position. Heels should still be together. Same thing here, right foot goes to the half. I'm gonna angle a little bit so you can see my feet better. And a half, and lower, switching feet, five and six and seven, so it's the same pattern, eight. Elevate both heels, lift together. Now those heels, the inside of the heel, they're looking forward. Anytime you're in turnout, that's the rule. Number three, and then our demi-plie, the knees track out over the toes, and stretch, same thing, left and down, right and down, a tread, a six, a seven, and eight, three elevates, one plie. At the end, let's elevate again bringing the arms to your first position. There should just be, like we tell the little ones, a little candy, a mini, mini chocolate, mini Halloween candy in between your fingertips. Not too wide, not touching, yeah? And we'll take a balance there. To come out of the balance, the arms will open and the heels will lower down to the floor. And that's it. So I'll talk it through, of course, and do it with you. We're starting in parallel. As I get the music started, go ahead and just take your moment just to feel Feel the body, feel the spine. All right, here we go, everyone. Right foot starts, half toe. One, and down, switching. Left, treading through, five, six, seven. Both heels together, up. Is your low belly gathered in? One more, and a plie, bend. Starting left foot, just half, and down. Right, switching, four, four, three, two, both heels and down, up, up. Are you still connected through those magnets? Three, plie, and let's find first. Right foot lifts to the half, left foot, Treading, right, switch, left, switch, right, and lower, elevate, two, three, plie, once more, left side, up, and right, treading through, keeping those heels looking forward, both together, one, Heels forward, kneecaps pulled up. One more, plie. Now last, we have our balance. So find that eleve. Arms to first. Elbows are lifted. Opening out. Lower the heels down to the ground. Rounding the arms to finish. All right. Let's go to plie. So before we um, before we take our plies, I just want to note. When we look at ballet dancers, we, you know, we notice they're very, their posture is very lifted and lengthened. What I want you to be careful of is sometimes when we get into the ballet class, and I used to be 
uh, guilty of this, we think, okay, I, I need to lift up, I need to be tall. But what I'm actually doing here is I'm actually taking my weight back. I'm really not lengthening my actual spine. So think about being tall, take the backs of your ears, right up at the top. If you had elf ears, you would be right at that point and pull that up to the ceiling and feel what that feels like in the spine. So we don't wanna pull up from the ribs. We wanna pull up from the back of the head, back of the ears. Yeah, so that's what's creating the length. All right, there's so many things to think about, but we can do it. First position, heels together, toes apart, prepare the arm to second. Demi plie, one, and stretch. Those heels are really heavy. They don't pop up, not even a millimeter. Now we go through the demi plie. Now the heels lift just a little bit and they go right back down. Hit that demi plie again on the way up. Long spine to go forward all the way down. Arm is in fifth. Long spine to come all the way up and we'll take our elevate, lift the heels, lower back down, time to second position. In second, those heels do not come up. Plie and stretch and a plie and stretch. Now the heels stay down for the ground plie. It's not about how low you go. It's about keeping the pelvis under the shoulders, not going to here. Okay. We show the demi plie on the way up and stretch into the bar. Turn your head coming all the way up and an eleve lower down. Now that outside foot, the foot furthest from the bar does a tendu and crosses in front to our fifth. Demi plie and stretch. The heels are down and stretch. The heels are still down. They lift slightly. They go back down and stretch. Let's bring the arm to first position. Turn your head away from the bar and then lift up and back. Oh, and we'll come back up. Eyes forward. Now to go su su, the front foot is going to slide across. The arms come to first. We find our balance. We squeeze those upper upper thighs and then open the arms. We slide the front foot back out to lower down. Okay, so it's two demi plies. Arm extends. Arm goes first. One grand plie. Arm is in bras at the bottom. As you go demi plie, it's back in first and stretch. And then a port de bras. In first, we go forward. In second, our port de bras is to the side. And in fifth, it's back. Okay, and then our balance. So I'll do it with you. Follow along. Here we go from first. Prepare the arm to second. Demi plie, reach the fingertips. Arm to first. Now grand plie, heels are down, they lift slightly, they go right back down. Port de bras forward, long spine. Arm is in fifth to come up. Eleve, lift the heels. And we'll tend you to second position. Plie, one. Heels down, grand plie. Don't let them come up. Now pour the bra, bend into the bar, let it really move. Eleve. And we'll tend you cross in front. Plie one. Keep those heels heavy. Heels are down, they come up slightly. They go right back down. Now arm comes to first, turn your head, lifting up, sternum up to the ceiling. Recover the spine, let's take Susu, cross that front foot over, arms in first, belly, and we'll open, slide that front foot out. All right. Let's turn around to the second side. You had your left hand at the bar. If you didn't, that's okay. Second side, right hand at the bar. Here we go. Arm out to second. Demi plie. One. Two. 
heels are down. Now don't crash to the bottom. Come right back up. Long spine. Second position. Heels lined up. Make sure they're on the same line, not forward or back. Now keep your hips right under your shoulders. Heels are down and into the bottom. Long spine. Position, turn your head, look over it, and then lifting the sternum to the ceiling. Recover the spine back to center, straight legs, front foot crosses over. So your feet are tight, your legs are tight. Open out, that front foot slides back out to finish. All right. So we're moving into tondus. Tondu means to stretch. And we're stretching the leg and the foot. So from our first position, prepare your arm first to second. We're going to start to the front. And we go through the half toe. So we stop before the toes actually extend. Then the toes do extend. We break them, we don't break them, we pull them back and we close to first, and then two regular out, and in, and out. So regular, I mean, not like the first one wasn't regular, but not stopping in each position, but passing through those positions. To the side, I have my V. I'm gonna follow the line of the V to go side to the point, and side, half toe closing in, and then through the foot, like you're using a paintbrush on the floor. Going to the back, right behind that hip. Belly button lift, extra. Half toes, toes, half toes, close. Back and close. Back and close. Then we go to the side one more time. Half to the toe, half and close. Out and in, out and in. At the end, let's take another eleve. Arms to first. I'm going to scoot back so you can see where my arms go because I know it cuts it off a little bit. Keeping that same exact shape, we bring it up to fifth. Now that fifth is slightly forward of the forehead, not back here. From that fifth, we extend the forearms to your V and lower the arms back down. And we're in our, we're, our heels are up the whole time until we come down at the end. So our pattern is a half toe, a full toe half point and full point and half and close and then two tondus that go through those positions and we go front side back and side on quad and then our balance okay so let's do it here we go everyone arms to second going to the front half toe to the toe half toe Two regular, out, in, really painting, paint the floor, through the side, that heel is still looking to the front, out, in, out, going to the back, right behind your hip, and painting it back to the tip of the toe, once more to the side. Remember to follow the V, so that leg is actually slightly forward, and out. Elevate balance, arms in first. Now keep that position. Load it up. Opening out to your V. And lower the heels, lower the arms. All right. Second side. Here we go. Prepare the arm. So 
to the front, half toe to the toe, half toe to out. Heel forward, side. Sliding it out and in. Going to the back, right behind that hip. Back, close, back. Once more to the side. into the front, into the toes and the balls of the foot, and then back into the heel. So I'd like you to come to a place where you have about two thirds of the weight into the fronts of the feet, and the heels are kind of just light. I mean, they're definitely down on the floor, but we have about a third of our weight into the heels. So they are, we are standing on them, they're not lifted, but we have more of our weight in the fronts of the feet. This is always how we stand. We don't ever stand back into the heels. Yeah, and there's a lot of reasons for this, which I'm not gonna get all into right now because we're limited time, but just whenever you're standing, just kind of notice where your weight is. Now, of course that is in while we're turned out. So can you feel in your first position how you can be forward into the toes or you can be kind of back in the heels, kind of looks like this. Um, if I'm hyperextended so you can really see. Right? So we want to be more into the balls of the feet. You can always do a little test just by lifting the heels a little, see if you can. Right? That's where we are all the time. Okay? So let's go from fifth position. You have your right foot in the front, left hand at the bar. Prepare the arm to second. We have a ton, you front, and a close, and a two, and a close, third one, lift slightly up, and a touch, a close to the side. Like we did from first position, that leg is slightly in front so that we can turn out two and three. Little lift, touch it down. Going back and a close, sliding out and it in and a back. Little lift, it's not very high. And a side. That lift should be relatively easy, right? Because we don't have any weight on that foot, so we can easily lift it up and lower. And then at the end, we're going to I'll face you, peel that front foot up to a coup de pied devant. Devant meaning front, so the toe is in the front of the standing leg. Look here, the heel is not touching. Otherwise, we're in this ballet sin called a sickle, right? So the heel is forward, and then we'll see if we can find our balance on one leg, closing in at the end, okay? So our pattern is Three tendus. On the third one, there's a little lift and lower. Same thing to the side and to the back and to the side, and then our balance. So I'll go with you, of course. All right, here we go from fifth. Prepare the arm to the front. Tendu. Close. There's no bent knees. Those legs stay straight. Little lift. Up. Touch. To the side. Out. Can you keep your hips from wobbling around? Don't let them wobble. Up, touch, to the back. Two, third one. Once more to the side. You have a string at the top of your head that's pulling you up. Up and touch. Now bring that foot to the front of the ankle. Knee is open. Finding your balance. I'm going to face you just so you can see my position. And close that foot in the front. 
All right, let's go straight away to the second side. Here we go, other side. Prepare that arm to the front. One, two, third one, middle lift and lower to the side. Are you lifting your low belly? Keep it up. Lift, lower. To the side, out. Sliding out, keep that paintbrush foot. Up, touch. Front of the ankle. Arms to first. And we'll close into fifth. All right, shake out your legs for a moment. Moving into degages. Hmm. All right, degages come off of the floor and the degage works on the, the ends of the toes pushing off of the floor. So we're strengthening the feet a lot here. Right foot front, left hand at the bar, prepare the arm out to second. We degage to the front, so the foot comes up just a couple of inches. Out, hold, hold, close. Out, hold, hold, and close. Out, hold, hold, and close. Now we have two fast. And it in, and it in. To the side. Out, freeze, freeze, close back. We change the closing. Out, freeze, freeze, close front. Third one, quicker. Out and in and out and into the back. Hold, hold. And a back. Hold, hold. And a back. Hold, hold. And out and in and out and in. We go to the side again. Watch when you go to the side. Go to first position. You're in a V. Have your foot follow the line of the V to Tondu. Then lift it just slightly. This angle is where your leg goes every time you degage, right? So we're not changing it based on if we're coming from the front or the back. This is when we're going side. It's like there's a little wall right there and you're trying to touch that same little wall. Touch it again. It's the same spot every time, okay? So we have three that we hold and freeze and then two a little bit quicker. On clock. That's it. Okay, so let's put our right foot in the front. Here we go. To the front. Out, freeze, freeze, and close. Out, freeze, freeze, in. Third one, a little quicker. Out, in, to the side, out. Hold, don't move. Don't move. Little quicker. Feel like your toes are laser beams. And hold. Laser beams. And laser beam out through the toes. One more. Two quicker. Up, out. In. Once more. Set. And in. Out. And in. One more. Little quicker. Up, out. In, in, out. That was actually quite, um, I felt that one. <laughs> so every time the leg goes off the floor, your leg is actually longer than your actual leg. I want you to imagine that it literally stretches on for another mile in every position. Yeah. Okay, here we go, second side. To the front now, long leg, out, reach, reach. Quicker, uh, out and in and finish here. 
All right. Okay, we're gonna do a little faster degage. This one is facing to the bar from first position. So first position, of course, we'll, I'm always running from the music, but ideally we start in mamba, we prepare the arms with the music on the intro. Okay, so uh, I'll use my, I'll, I'll mirror you. So the right leg starts, we go in and in, and a one, two, three. Do it again, in, push, in, these are still degages, one, two, three. Other side, in, in, and three, a little quicker. Toes in, toes in, and three, a little quicker. That's our pattern. And then we'll do it again on the right and again on the left. So it's two, slow, and a one, two, three. Do it again, same leg, slow, and a one, two, three. Repeat that on the left, two sets. And then we'll go right again, two sets on the right, two sets on the left. That's it, okay? So here we go from first position. I'm gonna run into my spot. <laughs> here we go. One, two, and a one, two, do it again. One, two, one, switch legs. One, two, one, two, three. Do it again, right leg. Push the foot, 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 and in. Squeeze it in, don't slam it in. Last time left. In, in, in. One, two, and finish. All right. All right, hopefully our feet feel warm and um, like that, like they're working, like they've worked. We're going to go into rond de jambes. Rond de jambes is around with the leg. All right. So um, we'll start from fifth position, right foot front. Little breathe of the arm, five and six. Prepare first to second. We'll go tondu to the front, quarter rond to your side, not, not to the ballet side, back and close. Little quicker, if you've taken this before, it's our regular rond de jambes. We have four, tracing that big capital letter D, number four, and then off the floor just a little bit, just a couple inches, reaching laser beam side and back. Now we close in fifth, we close behind that standing leg. Reverse back, heel forward, heel to the ceiling. So we stop in each of those positions, now we just pass through them. Back and around, two and around, last one and around, off the floor, back, side, front closing in fifth. Now we'll porter rock forward, long spine, arm is in fifth. Now let's keep our spine long to come up. Turn the head to the elbow, come right up and back. Six, seven, arm goes to first, that outside foot, I'm gonna face you again. Now my, hopefully you can see, my toe comes to the front of, the inside front of the standing knee and we'll balance here in the retiré. So when we say the words devant or derriere, it means front, or back, so we're, our toe is touching the front of the knee. We can also do a retiré derriere, but for, for now, we're keeping it in the front, knee open, okay? So we do our, our divided rond de jambe, side, back, close first, front to the back, through first, front to the back, two more, and then one off the floor, really slow, feeling that energy, right? Your leg is longer than it actually is, closing behind and then we reverse that, okay? So let's do it together, right foot front. Here we go. Prepare the arm, oh, you know what? I'm gonna start this again. It, it sounds a little soft. Let's angle that. Okay, one more time. Prepare arm first, second. Starting front, side, back, close. Now we go front all the way around to the 
back through first, front. Make sure you're passing through a good first position. Last time. Now this one goes off the floor, just a couple of inches. Reach it out, reach it back, close behind. And we'll reverse on the floor. Heel forward, heel to the ceiling. Little quicker, back to the front. Two more. Off of the floor, back, side, and front. Now look to your fingers, fold forward from the hips. Long to come up, come right up and back. Arm to your first, breath to your right, draw it up. Elbow supported from the back. When you're ready, close in front to fifth. And shake out your legs. All right. Second side. Go ahead and put your right hand, yeah, right hand at the bar, left foot front. Prepare the arm first to second. Starting front, side, back. Now we go quicker. Front to the back. Front to the back. Two more through first. Again, that foot is still a paintbrush going through off the floor. Reach out of the leg, out of the hip, closing behind. Reverse. Heel forward, heel to the ceiling, a little quicker. Two more. Off of the floor, reaching out, side, front. Look into the hand, take it forward. Long to come up, palm right, up and back. And peeling up to that front of the knee. Keep your hips level. Try not to hike that outside hip up. Closing in the front. All right. Okay. Let's move into fondues. Fondues, just like the food, is to melt. <laughs> Imagine as you start this exercise that the floor is really sticky, like you're standing in honey or molasses or something like that. And um, we have a right foot front, we'll prepare the arm to suck it. Now, as you peel that front foot off of the floor, imagine that sticky surrounding. So the front foot is going to start to come up, both knees bend together, and then we'll put that foot back down. The second time we, we peel it up, and we extend it out to the front, just about 45 degrees. So let's start that from the beginning. I just wanted to show you that footwork. Fondue one. Um, hold on, you guys. Let me just check my music here. Okay, let's go a little slower. So, fondue down. Put the foot back in front. Fondue down and extend to the front. It's slow. It's like we're moving through honey all the time. We put that back down to fifth. Fondue front of the ankle and reach it to the side. Now we're going to go back. So we put it in the back of the ankle and stand in fifth. Back of the ankle since we're already there. Extending to the back. And let's go again. Back of the ankle. Put it down, back of the ankle, extending to the side. Now this time we're just going to close that leg because we've completed our pattern. We're going to come up through the susu. Now you can stay flat, you can keep the heels down, that's okay too. And then from here we'll bring that foot again to the retiré. You may feel in a place where you can try to let go, but you know, it takes some work, right? Most likely, as I'm showing you, Letting go, we're not gonna be exactly where we need to be. So try to just grab the bar again, make little adjustments. 
for the balance and then try it again. You don't have to let go. You can also, even holding the bar and just working the strength of the position is beneficial. Even working the heel, the standing heel down on the floor is beneficial. So back to the fondue pattern. I'm actually going to switch sides here. Um, I'm using my foot furthest from the bar. So we peel, and the first one always goes back into the fifth. Then number two, we have two movements, we extend the leg out. Now I'm back to movement number one, put it down. Movement number two, and of course we're moving en croix, so it goes to the side. Movement number one, put it in the back. Movement number two, extending back out. Movement number one, movement number two. So number one goes to fifth, number two extends off the floor. Okay, um, let's do it. Right foot front, here we go. Prepare the arm. Now it's slow, take your time. On do down. Straight legs, put it down. Both knees bend together and stretch together. On your knees open. Stretch. Knees open. Extending side. Back of the ankle. Find that diamond. Put it down. And diamond. Extend behind. Last time. Knees open. Put it down. And knees open. Extend it to the side. Go straight leg in. Su su. Outside foot comes up. Either just stay here or try to see if you can balance. And if not, just hold the bar again, try it out again, make a little adjustment. When you're ready, close to Su and lower down. All right. So balance is a process. Um, most likely, like I said, when you first take your arm off the bar, no matter what level you are, it's great if you're on balance. Sometimes we are, but sometimes we're not. So what you, I'd like you to try to do is keep the leg position. Try not to fall out of it with the legs. If you're falling off balance, grab the bar again. You know, if I'm falling backwards, I know, okay, my weight's too far back, so I need to maybe make a little adjustment in the opposite direction. So it's little tiny adjustments that get us eventually to balance, and our body starts to be more aware of where that is over time. Okay, second side, everyone, let's go. Prepare the arm. Slow. Peel it up. Put it in fifth. Peel it up again. Extend it to the front. Back of the ankle. And put it down. And bend. Reach it back. Last time, open the knees. Put it down. Move it to. Now keep that leg straight as you close it in. Su su. Right to your right. Working wherever you are. Take your time, but when you're ready, you'll close through su su and then lower the heels. All right. Shake out your legs. Okay. Let's do a little um, frappe exercise. Frappe is to strike like you're striking a match. Um, so we start in fifth, and on the intro, when we hear that beginning in the music, five and six, tendu side, flex it in. This is a flex foot. This is maybe the only instance in ballet where, where you will see a flexed foot. And not all techniques even use a flexed foot. Some use this wrapped position, but for today, let's work that flexed foot. I like the flexed foot. So we're going to strike the metatarsals, right, under the ball of the foot on the floor to go front. Strike to go out and out. And let's try three quicker. One, two, three. To the side, slow and slow. Flex, point and point and point. Back, point, flex, point. Flex point and point and point once more, side and side 
and a one and two and three close fifth. Um, let's just finish there. We're just gonna work a pattern. So it's two, slow, and three, quick, out. Same thing side, same thing back, same thing side. There shouldn't be any movement in the pelvis. So to help accomplish that, you need to feel this entire um, waist, right, between the ribs and the pelvis. The whole band is constantly lengthening, pulling apart. If we're down onto our pelvis, then all the movements of the legs are going to affect our whole body, right? We want to make space, keep the pelvis nice and easy, nice and level. The legs move underneath that. Okay. So two slow, three quick. Now, if you're newer to frappes, that flex point, that's hard, okay? So sometimes that takes a little bit of time to, um, to master, okay? So here we go, right foot front. It's a quick intro, I'm gonna try to run into it. Tondu, out, flex. Hold it, hold it, and three. Quick, two, to the side. One, two, three, back. Flex point, strike that metatarsal. One, two, three, to the side. Out, and out, and a one, two, three, finish. All right. Get ready to go to the second side, everybody. Here we go. before ground butt moths is a good time to stretch just, you know, because we're going to be kicking our legs. So this will just be a follow along stretch. Um, and I'm going to just actually, so you can see me on the floor, bring this down. All right. Okay. So follow along with me here. Just start by extending the legs out in front. Try to get nice and tall off of the sit bones, arms out long spine. If you can hold on great, wherever, it doesn't matter. We're not forcing the stretch. Coming up, flex the feet, arms up. Reach out to come down. And let's go again, pointing the feet, lift the arms up. Lift out to come down. Coming up, flex the feet, arms lift up, long to come down. Coming up, now bring one leg in, placing that foot against the opposite thigh, flex that other foot, reaching up and let's take it over. Try to square the chest off over that thigh. And we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Bring that leg in, lifting up. Good, right, coming on up. Let's open the legs out to second. <laughs> and again, it doesn't matter how wide. You wanna watch that you're not rolling the knees forward. So if you are, bring the legs forward a little bit. We're gonna bend over to the side. And coming up through center and over. I think our music will give us another nice slow song. And up. And taking it over to the first side. Now this time, rotate the chest towards the thigh. Roll the spine. 
spine up, side bend over to the right, to the left, whichever side you're on. Rotate the chest to the thigh. Rolling back up and then just gently keep those knees open up to the opening up to the ceiling. And just gently walk yourself forward. Again, doesn't matter how far, this is not about a competition. We're just trying to find our end range of motion in our own bodies so that things feel better, right? So that we can get to our full extent of our ground levels. Walking back up, shake out those legs. And we'll come back up to standing. And while you do that, I just adjust this back up again. All right. Okay, um, so here we go. Let's um, put our right foot in the front. And we are kicking our legs now, but we've, we've stretched them. <laughs> Arm to fifth overhead. Ground ball, ball front end, close end, two end, close end, three end, close demi plie and a stretch. Side, close back, side, close front, really brush, brush the floor. Plie and stretch, three to back, plie and stretch. Now this is just a tendu, tendu plie in the front, susu, tight feet, detourne, switch the feet, plie and stretch. Three to the front, plie and stretch. Three to the side, plie and stretch. Three to back, plie and stretch. Just a tendu, close fifth, susu. Turn around and plie and stretch. That's it. So um, for to the front, my arm is in that nice rounded fifth. Yeah, I know it gets cut off a little bit. All right, so here we go, let's do it. Ground butt moss. Brushing up, two, three, clean up, go inside, brush the floor, keep that waist long, to the back, one more, tendu, plie, susu, turn around, plie, other side, here we go, to the front. Side up. Demi. Right behind that hip. Plie. This is on you. Good. you. Turn around. And finish. All right, you all. down. Um, so I guess I'll talk through the port movement with the arms and then um, the end will just be a follow along. Okay, so let's see. Let's use this. Um, let me bring myself a little higher really quick. Okay, so um, right foot will be front. And we'll start with just a little breathe. And we're, we're facing quasi, so take a moment, face exactly to your front. Imagine a little box right around your feet. Face the corner of your own little box, and then put that right foot in front and fit, turned out. So we'll breathe. The downstage arm, or the arm closest to the screen, goes to first, open out. And then this is not super classical, but we're just going to push the air away and down. Other arm, one and side pushing out and down now the arms go sideways up to fifth down through first and lower fondue the back foot we did this with the bar lifting it up pas de bourre. so we put the back foot behind step side close that foot in front and a little breathe and we're ready to go to the other side downstage arm one and two, and you're using your eyes and your head because we're dancing, right? We can't just dance with our arms, we have to dance with our whole body. Press 
and down sideways up to flip through the first and down fondue the back foot pot of array back side close front little breathe and then we'll repeat that again so it goes first and open push like the air is really thick and you're pushing it away push both arms sideways and up closing in the front fondue pot of array back side fifth other side um and then I don't know if our music will keep going. I'll start it again if we need to, but we'll follow along with me at the end, okay? So right foot front on your quasi. Here we go. Just a little breathe. The arm closest to the screen starts. Open, push. Other arm, one. Open, push away. Sideways and up, reach out through the fingertips, back down the front. Now nice gooey fondue, lift the back leg up, back side, thick. Other side, follow with the eyes, push. Side, push. Sideways up to fifth, coming down, do the back foot. Pot of array. Let's go one more time, everybody. Here we go. Really round first, second, and then press it away. Really round first, second, press. Sideways up. Pot of array. Last time, everyone. Feel like your whole body is involved, even though it's just the arms. First, open, push. Up, down. Fondue, pot of array. Stay where you are. One more little bit here. All right, follow along everyone, legs wide. Open the arms, fold forward, relax your head. Bend the knees, and stretch. Take another bend, roll up through your spine, drop your hips. Turn your heels out. Arms go first to second, let's side bend over to the right. Through first, and over, left. Through first, now take a plie. Tondu one foot, transfer the weight, closing into first, and just a little elevate up, and down, one more time, up, and down. Standing tall, belly up. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for joining this morning. Um, I will be here again next week, so I'll see you then. Bye, everyone.